What's up guys? Welcome to Christmas Hit the Shop. <laughs> um, I haven't posted a vlog here in the shop for quite some time. So we got a lot of updates. First, let's do a quick rundown of all the Christmas decor. Here we go. We've got lots of questions about our holiday decor and I wanted to show you guys how we did this Christmas tree pegboard. Making this into a tree was mom's idea and that's the great thing about the pegboard is um, it gives a lot of freedom to redo things because you just can take these out and rearrange them. You guys probably saw if you go a few videos back you can see how this was designed for fall. We had pumpkins hanging, it was really pretty. So. For Christmas, we put a Christmas tree on it, super easy, you just put the pegs in and then hang all of the ornaments. And some of these are actually really special. So this airplane we got in California when we were there for Juice Con. Um, this, like my great, great, great grandma made or something like that. So that's cool, really old. This we made a couple years ago. Some of these are, uh, let me see where. Some of these are like really old fruit ornaments. These snowballs we had growing up and always had a lot of fun with. Some really cute ornaments that we like a lot and everyone always loves this when they come in. They're like, wow, look at the tree. Look at this guy, he's cool too. <laughs> we have launched our 12 days of Christmas, which is a punch card we offer now. Once you get 12 punches, so each juice equals a punch, um, you get entered into our giveaway. So we'll have our customers just write their information on the back of this. We'll put it into a bucket. And on Christmas Day or sometime around there, we'll draw one winner and they will get a reusable insulated tote. The insulated totes we are offering with our New Year's cleanse, boop, boop, which I'm going to do an entire video on, so we'll talk about that another day. If you want to see a preview, like what is a New Year's cleanse, you can go to my Instagram. Um, link is in the description box below or JK Juice's Instagram or you can go to our website. It's a big New Year's resolution thing we're doing in January. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> but today we're focusing on Christmas. So far the holidays have been pretty good. I mean, we've been like decent. There's been tons of cleanses, which is really interesting because um, single orders, like single bottle orders have gone down a little bit, but cleanse orders have gone up significantly. Um, I think a lot of people just wanted to cleanse around Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving, kind of that general time frame. Oh my gosh, guys crazy story on Thanksgiving day I had two strong greens in the morning drank my strong greens the day went on ate a bunch of crap the following day woke up Thanksgiving the following day after Thanksgiving woke up and I was like I felt skinny and no bloating and really digested I thought about it and I was like I think it's a strong greens I drank because celery juice has some crazy abilities with digestion and inflammation and all of that so um, yeah, if you have a day of eating crap, maybe drink celery juice in the morning. I had two 24, I had two 12 ounce bottles, so 24, right? <laughs> 24 ounces of celery juice, pretty much. Um, crazy though, right? Oh my gosh. We are also in the paper today. So a couple weeks ago, our local paper, The Courier, came, did an article, did an interview on me, took some photos, all the things, and... Um, today we're in the paper, which is really exciting. Just talks about kind of the new storefront. Um, I kind of quoted salad in a cup and whatnot, so that's really fun. I'm excited about it. Uh, this is our second time being in the paper kind of for, for a business launch dealio. Um, 
when we launched the truck in Finley years ago, they did an article on us then too, and they titled it "Joy or Truck Brings Joy and Juice to Finley," which kind of started our slogan of "Joy and Juice," which has been really kind of stuck with us always. As you guys can see, the the joy here. Lauren is back here making some ginger shots. Oh, I can smell the orange and I can smell the ginger. Major explosions. Washing some pumpkins for our fall juice. A lady ordered quite a lot of them, so we're making them today for her. She's picking them up tomorrow. So these shots we put cinnamon in, a customer requested it, and she ordered quite a lot, so we were able to make a custom order for her. So I really wanted to tell you guys about our winter, Christmas, holiday, seasonal juices. We've got three, which is really exciting. First is our ginger shots. We're actually just making them orange clove ginger shots. So, um, actually, let me check with Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Yeah. We're just adding clove, like spice, right? It's not whole. It's ground. Here's the clove. It's just ground clove, simple, organic, certified clove. So, Christmas time, you know, you like have the orange, you put the little clove buds in there. That was kind of the inspiration for it. Orange clove ginger shots. Clove is also really good for cold and flu season as it's kind of antibacterial, you know, fighting all those viruses off. Now for the really exciting seasonal specials. All right, we've got two. We are doing, I'm gonna do this one first, our holiday juice. We have made this years past. It has pomegranate, cranberry, pear, and apple. It's really good. So it's a very like bright magenta color. It's like sweet and sour, full of antioxidants. It's a great juice. We love it. We've made it before. I guess it's a good one. I get lots of questions about our labels. They're from Light Lightning Labels. I design them, they print them and ship them to us. I have used them for many, many years and I do have a video about them with a promo code and everything. So if you want to know where we get our labels from, that is where. They just come in rolls like these, depending on how many you've ordered, and are really nice. Okay, now talking about probably the holiday juice we're most excited about. Introducing Holiday Nog. We've never made this before. We've done recipe testing, but it's taking our traditional nut milk. One second, I'll go get one. Our normal nut milk, which includes almonds, cashews, dates, maple syrup, vanilla bean, filtered water, and Himalayan salt. Good old classic nut milk. People love these. It's not too sweet. It's not too vanilla-y. It's got a little bit of maple syrup. It's just a very well-balanced milk. It's, it, it tastes like milk, um, just with a little bit of extra zing zang. So what we're doing is taking our nut milk and adding spices to it that are eggnog spices. So the ingredients on the holiday nog are um, almonds, cashews, dates, water, maple syrup, mesquite powder, which is a certain type of sweetener that has this really like smoky kind of flavor. Vanilla bean, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and Himalayan salt, all organic. So when we recipe tested this, we wanted it to, since this isn't super sweet, we didn't want to make an extremely sweet nut milk. Um, we made this sweeter as it's a holiday nog, you're kind of, anticipating a little bit of a sweeter taste. So it's sweeter, It's the spices really come through. It definitely has that spicy like aroma and then it leaves that aftertaste. It's really good, we're really excited about it and the labels look so cute! Look at this label! Oh my goodness, we love the labels so much. And this has a little bit of a darker, the color of it is actually pretty close to that little line right there in the JK juices. It's just, since it has um, spices, it's a little bit darker than this. So those are our holiday juices. We're really excited. Holiday juice, holiday nog. We think they'll go over really well. We have found that offering um, seasonal items helps people like come back in, they'll visit 
and then they won't come for a while and then offering a seasonal kind of bring them, brings them back in. So business-wise, always great to offer seasonal items and normally with produce, whatever is in season is more affordable. So you can get, for example, our watermelon lemonades. When watermelons are in season here in Ohio, they're super affordable. So yeah, something to keep in mind, seasonal items usually are a little bit more affordable because they're in season. Um, nevertheless. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys our fall seasonal labels, which were our pumpkin press and our apple cider. Um, with these ones, can you tell how these are glossy and shiny and this is matte? Um, I'm still figuring out a lot about labels and with ordering more, I have more trial and error opportunities. So I upped the, what's it called, DPI? I think that's what it's called, but it's like the resolution pretty much on these ones quite a lot, so they're not pixelated at all. They're really nice. Well, these ones had a little bit of a lower pixelation. I think these ones had 600 DPI. I hope that's the right term. If it's not, if you use Illustrator, you'll know what I mean. And these ones had 300. No, I think these ones had like 900. I don't remember. If you're having trouble with pixelation, um, could be a great thing you can up up the DPI, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I just, I really, I love these so much. <laughs> so then, yeah, our other one was apple cider. And you can see here like the pumpkins and the apples, that was kind of a theme. And really, with the seasonal ones, I had a little bit more fun with just like a garlandy thing. I don't know, it's fun. Designing labels and doing that stuff is really fun. If you guys are not following my personal page on Instagram, you should, because we got a puppy. The most adorable puppy in the whole world. He is so sweet and so lovable. He's a wire-haired Quentin Griffon. So be sure to go follow my personal Instagram, and then while you're there, you can follow JK Juices too. We post a lot, kind of like daily vlogs, Instagram style. Oh, and yesterday's video, the a video I uploaded yesterday, is my JuiceCon speech about social media marketing. So if you want to see more of JuiceCon and you weren't able to go, great little clip to watch. Um, actually, it's a pretty long video. It's almost 30 minutes long, and I include quite a lot of my speech, so great one to watch. All right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below what your favorite Christmassy thing was in the shop. And if you think we should add anything, I think we need a big bow right here on this window. I think a big bow would look great there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, and Merry Christmas. <laughs>